So let us start with question 29. Sarah poured the same amount of water on two identical t-shirts R and S and they hung them out to dry in the same place as shown. So five hours later, she observed that t-shirt R had dried faster than t-shirt S. So this is about what? This is about factors of evaporation. Are you able to recall what are the four factors of evaporation? How do we remember them? Okay, so what I teach my students is I tell them to follow the acronym WHAT. Okay, what does WHAT stand for? W stands for wind. H stands for humidity, A is area of exposed surface, or some students may call it exposed surface area, and the last one is T, temperature. Okay, some of the few key things that we need to note is that when we're answering um, the question using wind, teachers would not accept wind as uh, the word itself, but they want the students to write presence of wind. So when it comes to comparison terms, we must state stronger presence of wind, right? Or weaker presence of wind. So this is something that we need to take note. H, humidity is not in our syllabus, so it is unlikely that we will have to use them. Area of exposed surface is also the same as exposed surface area. Okay. T, temperature. Temperature we must um, specify. Is it the temperature of the substance itself or is it the temperature of the surrounding air? So you might be wondering what's the difference between temperature of the substance and temperature of the surrounding air. If I have a cup of hot water and I place it on a table, I cannot say that the hot water gains heat from the surrounding air because the hot water is hotter than the surrounding air. However, if I have a um, warmer temperature of the surrounding air, I can say that the cup of water gain heat from the warmer surrounding air to evaporate. Okay, so that's the difference. One of it, I need to say gain heat. The other one, I don't have to say gain heat. I just say the hot water in the cup will evaporate to form water vapor. Okay, so let's look at the first part of the question. T-shirt R dried faster than T-shirt S. It is one of the four factors of evaporation. Which one are we going to focus on? So one is folded, one is not. That means this is about exposed surface area. Okay, so five hours later, T-shirt R dried faster. Why? Because T-shirt R has a larger exposed surface area. So the water in the t-shirt gain heat faster from the warmer surroundings or you can say gain heat faster from the sun to evaporate faster okay so this is the answer for part a okay larger surface area in contact with the surrounding air right water in the t-shirt to gain heat faster from the warmer surrounding air to evaporate faster Okay, one key thing that I want you to take note from the answers is the water in the t-shirt because some teachers, they are particular about the phrasing. So if you just say that the t-shirt evaporates, they will not give you uh, the full marks because it is the water in the t-shirt that evaporates. Okay, so let's go on to part B of the question. So for part B, it says here that Sarah repeated the experiment with two identical t-shirts using different types of hangers. Okay, so in the, the shirt in figure 2 dried faster. What is the reason for that? If you look at the hanger in figure 2, this hanger with the figure 8 actually creates more airspace within this t-shirt itself as compared to figure 1. And what concept do you think it's testing again? Actually, it's the same concept. It is the concept of exposed surface area. So how should we answer that? Because of the hanger in figure 2, there is a larger exposed surface area of the water in the t-shirt in figure 2 that is in contact with the surrounding air. So the water in the t-shirt will gain heat faster and then evaporate faster. Okay, so there's an alternative answer also. It can also be argued that, okay, because it, is, it has a larger exposed surface area, so it's more airy, right? So more wind will be able to circulate inside the t-shirt. And what do we learn about presence of wind? Presence of wind will cause water to evaporate faster. So we say that the water in the t-shirt will evaporate faster due to the presence of wind in the t-shirt. Okay, so that is for question 29. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my discussions, please hit on the subscribe button below. If you'd like to find out more about my analysis of other questions in this paper, please click on the videos on the right. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.